7.3 goes over special products of polynomials. So when we're doing these, we're going to start with the square of a binomial. With these, you want to follow this pattern or this formula. If you have something like a plus b squared, you can use a squared plus 2 times a times b plus b squared. If you have something like a minus b squared, you can use a squared minus 2 times a times b plus b squared. So you'll realize the only difference between these two formulas is the sign on that middle term. So if we look at example A, we have 3, 4, I'm sorry, 3x plus 4 squared. We have a plus sign here. So we are going to use the formula a squared plus 2 times a times b plus b squared. Our a is 3x. Our b is 4. So we're just going to plug these in. So we're going to have 3x squared plus 2 times 3x times 4 plus 4 squared. The 3x squared is 9x squared. 2 times 3x is 6x times 4 is a positive 24x. And 4 squared is a positive 16. So 9x squared plus 24x plus 16 would be our answer for this one. For example, B, we have 5x minus 2y squared. So this one, you have a binomial that's squared, but your subtraction is happening in between these two terms. So because you have that subtraction, we can use the formula a squared minus 2 times a times b plus b squared. Our a is the 5x. Our b is the 2y. So this is giving us... 5x squared, oops, 5x squared, minus 2 times 5x times 2y plus 2y squared. Remember, when we have something in parentheses and we're squaring it, it goes to both the coefficient and the variable. So this 5x squared is like saying 5x times 5x, so that's 25x squared. The negative 2 times 5x is negative 10x times 2y is negative 20xy. And then the 2y squared, again, is like saying 2y times 2y, so that's 4y squared. So 25x squared minus 20xy plus 4y squared. Okay. So for example, C... We have x plus 7 squared. So we have addition here. We're going to use a squared plus 2 times a times b plus b squared. Our a is the x. Our b is the 7. So we're going to plug these values in. We have x squared plus 2 times x times 7 plus 7 squared. The x squared gives us x squared. Plus 2 times x is 2x, times 7 is 14x, and then that 7 squared is a positive 49. So x squared, min or sorry, x squared plus 14x plus 49 is our answer. For example, d, we have 7x minus 3 squared. So for this one, we have that negative, so we're going to use a squared minus 2 times a times b plus b squared. Our a is the 7x, our b is the 3. So plugging this in, we're going to have 7x squared minus 2 times 7x times 3 plus 3 squared. The 7x squared is going to be 49x squared. The negative 2 times 7x times 3 is the same thing as negative 6 times 7x, which is negative 42x. And 3 squared is 9. So 49x squared minus 42x plus 9.
For example, e, we have 4x minus y squared. So again, we have that negative. So we're going to use a squared minus 2 times a times b plus b squared. So our a is 4x. Our b is y. So it's going to be 4x squared Oops. minus 2 times 4x times y plus y squared. That 4x squared is going to be 16x squared. Then we have negative 2 times 4x times y is negative 8xy. And that y squared is just y squared. With example f, we have 3m plus n squared. So Again, we have addition there. We'll use a squared plus 2 times a times b plus b squared. Our a is 3m. Our b is n. We plug these in. So 3m raised to the second power plus 2 times 3m times n plus n to the second power. 3m to the second power gives us 9m squared plus 2 times 3m times n is 6mn and n squared is just n squared. So our next section is going to be going over using the sum and difference pattern. So the sum and difference is just two binomials that have the same a and the same b but the difference between those binomials is the sign between a and b. So if you have something like a plus b times a minus b, you can just use a squared minus b squared. If we look at some examples like this, for example, 2a, we're given t plus 5 times t minus 5. You'll realize that your a in both is t, your b in both of those binomials is 5. The only difference is the sign that separates them in each of those parentheses. So because that's the case, our a, we said is t, our b is 5. We can use a squared minus b squared, which gives us t squared minus 5 squared. The t squared is t squared, and 5 squared is 25. For example, B, we have 3x plus y times 3x minus y. So our A is going to be 3x, and our B is y. Oops. So we use A squared minus B squared. It's going to be 3x to the second power minus y to the second power. So 3x to the second power gives us 9x squared minus y to the second power is y squared. For example, C, we have x plus 10 times x minus 10. So our a is x, our b is 10. This is going to be using, using a squared minus b squared. So again, we're going to have x to the second power minus 10 to the second power. So our answer is just going to be x squared minus 100. For example, d, we have 2x plus 1 times 2x minus 1. Our a is 2x. Our b is 1. Again, we use a squared minus b squared. So we're going to do 2x oops, to the second power minus 1 to the second power. So 2x squared, or sorry, 4x squared, don't make that mistake, 4x squared minus 1 is our answer. So I just realized that e and f are the same exact question. So we're just going to do this once. Um, for 
e, we have x plus 3y times x minus 3y. So our a is x, our b is 3y. We'll use a squared minus b squared. So this is going to give us x to the second power minus 3y to the second power. So that's just x squared minus 9y squared. So I changed f to be 6x plus 7y times 6x minus 7y. So for this one, our a would be 6x. Our b is the 7y. From there, we can use the a squared minus b squared which gives us 6x to the second power minus 7y to the second power. So this is just 36x squared minus 49y squared. You can also use special product patterns to find the products of numbers that do not have variables attached to them. So if we look at example three, it tells us to use special product patterns to find each product. For A, we have 26 times 34. Think about this. That 26 and that 34. If you took four away from the 30, I'm sorry, four away from the 34 and added it to the 26, it would give you 30, right? So if we take the four away, it would give us 30. If we added that 4 to the 26, it gives us 30. So we're still doing 30 times 30, which gives us 900. For example, B, you have 21 squared. Think about this like 2, or sorry, 20 plus 1 squared. If we used our formula for this of that a squared plus 2 times a times b plus b squared, that a would be the 20, so that would just be 20 squared plus 2 times 20 times 1 plus b squared, that which is that 1 squared. So 20 squared is 400 plus 2 times 20 is 40, times 1 is 40, plus 1 is 1. So 400 plus 40 is 440, plus 1 gives us 441. It would be the same exact thing as you taking that 21 and multiplying it by 21.